and you and you give what you give two possible answers here, possible mm -hmm. options. In other words, how, of how it ends, of his how the choice. Ends. Right, right. So his choice, he had a choice here. The son, and you give one possible option for the son, the older son. Uh, he he could have he could have recognized his father's joy and recognized that his his uh, younger brother was now saved and, and rejoiced and, and had this you know moment together with his with his father and compassion and cried and celebrated together. Or possible option number two, and I and I liked this um, because it really illustrates a really good point that we we emphasize quite regularly here. Uh, you say this, then the elder son being full of anger over his father's love for the younger son became bitter and hardened and hardened to the love of the father. From that day forward, he refused to rejoice with his younger brother's return. The lingering anger was more than his heart could control. Prompted by the, the prolonged resentment, the older son was moved to action, luring the gracious father into the garden. The older son lashed out in fury and struck his father so that he died. And when I first read that, I was going, wow, that seems really harsh. And then the very next, <laughs> the, very next <laughs> the very next statement you say, as harsh as option two sounds, that's exactly what happens in Christian history. That's exactly what happens. Yeah. That all through Christ's earthly ministry, he preached grace and mercy to all that would respond. This is evidenced by the number of people that came to faith under his preaching. The call to repent was given. The listeners were presented with the choice to believe and receive and reject the gospel message. Coincidentally, many of the Jewish leaders followed in the exact path that the older son had set himself toward. They, there was pride in their heart, and they refused to accept the gracious call of the Savior. This pride kept them outside the Father's house. They refused to come, and the celebration of the Father's grace and mercy, and exa exactly what you said happened, happened, is they end up killing uh, their, their own the Messiah. They killed, yeah, they killed the, the, uh, this, uh, the, the Savior. Yeah. Um, and so that's, uh, I think, a perfect illustration of what so oftentimes was when I when back when I was a Calvinist that that was the Achilles heel for me that was what I kept missing I kept missing what Jesus was trying to accomplish and what was happening between the Jews and the Gentiles of this day because when Jesus came he came to his own